Hi, if you are watching this video, just an FYI, this is not a training or a tutorial. This is just my uh, reference or my learnings and my practices. If it helps you, I'm happy. So this video, I am trying to capture how I created my first automation script. So first, uh, I'm creating a uh, normal Java project. So within that, I'm making sure I'm having Selenium standalone jar and I have to make sure I'm having the Chrome driver in this particular uh, location. So to start, I'm creating a new package under source. Start new package. I'm doing my practice. So I'm trying to automate a calculator page. So I'm creating new class with a name calculator. We have everything in the main function. We are not doing automation testing, but we are doing unit testing. So what is uh, not, I mean, we are doing only automation. What is the difference is, so when you are doing automation, you are just trying to automate the page. But when you are doing the testing, we should make sure that we uh, assert the page. Means whatever we are validating, we have to make sure the actual and expected are matching. And that is validated in the code as well. So first, uh, We'll give public static void main. So for my reference, I already have the template of what I have to give. So if you see, we are setting the system property to have the Chrome driver. And then um, in order to have the web driver, we have to import the package. So I'm importing web driver. I'm adding a new Chrome driver. Similarly, I'm importing Chrome driver page as well. So we have to make sure system set property comes before web driver uh, initiation because else this, this driver will not be able to find the Chrome driver and it's no compile time error. And web element. So I'm trying to import all the packages that I need in order to run so what i'm doing this is my page where it's a simple calculator page uh, for uh, it is used as a demo page so here i'm giving both xpath and i am trying to send the values along. we'll try to run this okay i have not saved it i'm saving it we will try to run it So since I have not given driver or closer to it, after it gives the uh, data, the page is always open. So how did I even take this? We will try to backtrack it. So I am giving F12 to get the developer console. So I am trying to get these two values. So first one, I am getting the XPath. So how did I even get the XPath? This way? giving the form and then the input tag so form with this class i have got this form first and then i have got the input so i have sent two send keys of option one and option two both of these have been entered now next can be clicking on go button so this go button i can give give by id so we can do it right away So we just copy the ID from here, just go button, I'm copying it. So now I give go button dot click. So close this and run it one more time. So the go button is clicked and we get the result of 15. We will wrap it up here because I am making very small videos. We will check how to validate the actual and expected value in the next video.
Thank you.